participants of PACEA. This is my fourth time here in Baguio City and it's a real privilege to be standing here in front of you and talk about something so important as character education. Character education is part of a holistic framework that consists of thinking skills, character education, caring relationships, environmental awareness, democracy, spirituality, creativity and play. Hello delegates uh, in the fourth International Conference summer, summer Workshop on Early Childhood Education. Character education in the Philippine setting is so profound that it emanates to and sifts through all aspects of learning in the classroom and in the school. It's very imperative for all teachers to actually analyze the document that manifests so, so that all teachers will be in one in our in our journey towards making sure that our students acquire the necessary virtues and character that we want our students to, to be in the future. I feel very privileged to be invited to speak at this international seminar on character education in early childhood education. Storytelling is our, one of our primary tools for character education. Way back when, um, people told stories in the home all the time. Parents use story as a character education tool. In the early childhood classroom, the teachers have a wonderful opportunity to inspire their, their children through the stories they tell. The thing about storytelling is it opens up the heart. We are using words to put children into their imaginations, to go into an imaginary world where they actually live the story. The, the thing is, with the brain, it cannot tell the difference between the life of the imagination and real life. So through storytelling, your children can explore real life situations, real life moral dilemmas and they can empathize with the characters in the story. They see things from other people's perspectives. Hi, I'm Gladys Nanuzo, teacher three from Lichuria Elementary School. The things that I have learned from this seminar is that um, we could impart character education and values to children through storytelling and games. Early years is the foundation stage of the children so we, they could bring those values as they grow up. I'm Elijah P. Gamba, teacher one and at the same time teacher in charge of one of the school in the division of Sorsogon. It's one of the best experience that I have attended about early childhood education. One thing that I have learned in this um, training is how to, um, how to incorporate um, character education in teaching and how to um, teach it effectively and to address the needs of the learners. My message for all the participants here is see character education as a tree and with very, very strong roots. As teachers, you're crucial to make character education happen. How do you do it? By practicing the three M's from modeling, mentoring, and motivating. The three R's, respect, responsibility, reflection. Three C's of communication, cooperation, collaboration. Educating, three H, the head, the hearts, and the hands. And how do you do it? By practicing the three P's of patience, perseverance, and a positive attitude. My message to the participants is to, to be steadfast in their, in their quest to become one of the best uh, teachers, not just in early child education, but in education at large. The Philippines, uh, as every other country, has wonderful stories. We have to decide which stories are the ones that 
provide the good character education for our children and tell them and retell them until these stories sit in the children's hearts and stay with them as they grow up and they become parents themselves and then they can retell those stories and you get a virtuous cycle. Things about the speakers, so they are very brilliant speakers and I could say that they are really in, the, in authority to impart the knowledge that they have to us uh, early childhood educators. To our research speaker um, who are competent and knowledgeable delivering their topics more power to you and may God continue to use you in equipping uh, more teachers like me. So thank you for the organization. Thank you for taking so good care of us as speakers and thank you for making it happen. To the association and thank you very much for believing in me and, and, and for the next conference that will be the fifth, I'll be seeing you again and hopefully we will be partners again in making sure that the education setting here in the Philippines will be at par with other settings in the world. To PACAE, Thank you so much for giving us this um, very great privilege um, to, to be equipped and to be guided um, accordingly. To the PACAE, I would like to thank you for conducting seminars like this and may continue to provide us um, seminar workshops for early childhood educators because it could really help us improve further in our chosen field. It's always a joy to come to the Philippines and interact with the teachers because they are so hungry for knowledge. They are so eager to, to do the best for the children. So whenever I come here, I always feel that um, I am, my time is not wasted, my time is very well spent and I would like to, to congratulate PACAE on the work they are doing and encourage them to carry on because really they are doing a fantastic job.